Hey everyone. Welcome back to the Riftsphere channel. Well, the App Store offers a variety of applications. It's far from exhaustive. Searching on Docker Hub or attempting to auto-generate a template often yields imperfect results. In this video, we'll start from a Docker Compose file, build the necessary templates, and work towards a functional result. For this demonstration, we'll use Whisper, a more complex application. Let's dive in. First, locate a Docker Compose file typically found on the project's GitHub page. With the Docker Compose file loaded, it's time for analysis. It appears that three services are required, Mongo, Translate, and Whisper itself. This means we need to create three templates. Let's proceed step by step. We'll begin by installing Mongo. Head over to the Docker tab and click on Add Container. Set the name identical to the service name and copy the image name to the repository field. Now, let's configure the volumes. Click on Add and set it to Path. Name it appropriately, like DBE. For the container path, copy the value from the Docker Compose file. For the host path, select our app data folder, appending the container name and path name for clarity. Ensure the access mode is set to read slash write and click add. Let's repeat this process for the second volume, naming it logs. Next, let's add the necessary environment variables. Click on add and set the config type to variable. Copy the left part of the environment line as both the name and key. For the value, Refer to the default value in the Docker Compose file. Repeat this step for each variable listed. Finally, let's add the port. Click on Add. Set the config type to port. And give it a name. Copy the port number under Expose as both the container and host port. Ensure the connection type is set to TCP and click Add. With Mongo configured, click Apply to install the app. If everything is set up correctly, we should see a successful message and the container should appear on our Docker tab. The next app we need to install is Translate. Let's start by clicking on Add Container. Set the name to the service name and copy the image to the repository setting. Now, let's configure the volumes. Click on Add, set it to Path, and name it Data. Copy the appropriate container path, and for the host path, select our app data share, appending the app name and path name for clarity. Verify it's set to read slash write and click Add. Repeat these steps for the cache directory. Next, we need to add two variables. Click on Add. Set the config type to variable. And copy the left part to both the name and key. Set the appropriate value and click Add. Repeat this process for the second variable. Finally, let's add the port. Click on Add. Set the config type to port, and give it a name. Copy the port number under Expose as both the container and host port. Set the type to TCP and click Add. With everything configured, click Apply to install the app. Once again, we see a successful message. However, upon checking the Docker tab, we notice the new container isn't running. Let's investigate further by checking the logs. It appears the app doesn't have permissions to write into a folder we mapped to our app data share. Since this video focuses on installing apps that are not in the App Store and doesn't delve into security considerations, 
will temporarily grant all permissions to get it working. However, you should explore setting the appropriate permissions for your setup. I'll aim to cover this in a future video. Open the terminal. Navigate to the app data share. And execute the command provided in the description to set the permissions. Once done, close the terminal and start the container. It should now run without any issues. To complete our setup, let's install the app we initially wanted, Whisper. Click on Add Container. Set the name to the service name. And copy the image to the repository setting. We'll set the version to latest for simplicity. Now, let's configure the volumes and variables again. I'll breeze through this process. Upon examining the variables, we notice a models directory that isn't under volumes. To avoid downloading the models every time we update the app, let's add a path for this as well. Finally, let's add the port. This time, the suggestion is to use different host and container ports. So we'll follow this recommendation. With everything configured, click apply to install and wait for the successful message. With all our apps installed, we can try to browse to Whisper, but notice the page is not loading. Let's open the logs to see what's going on. It seems it fails to start correctly, but doesn't tell us why. Let's move to the Whisper logs for more clues. Here we see a file with the same name as the failing process. So let's open it. It seems it tries to resolve a host with the name Translate. And it fails. Remember Translate is one of our services. One of the big advantage of a Docker Compose file is that the different services can reach each other by name. To achieve this in Unraid, we will need to set up a custom network and configure our apps to use it. Open a terminal and use the command in the description to create a custom network. I named it Whisper to indicate it contains all related apps, but you can use any name you want. Close the terminal and edit all three containers to use our custom network instead of the default bridge. After these changes, our Whisper app is available. Let's try to create a transcript. Selecting a file and clicking start doesn't seem to do anything. Let's investigate again. The Whisper Docker logs are not really useful. Let's check the logs for our Mongo app. Here we can see an authentication error, and it seems something is trying to connect with the root user. However, we did set the database user to Whisper, 
So let's try if we can make Whisper use this. Since Docker Compose can make use of an environmental file, let's check if we can find an example on GitHub. In this file, we see some database configuration. So let's try to add this as variables to our Whisper container. After making these changes, we should be able to upload a file and create the transcription. If you still get an error, check the transcription log file to verify all models are downloaded and try again when they are. And like this, we managed to install an app that's not in the App Store. I specifically picked Whisper after someone asked about it on Reddit, and figured it would be nice to include some troubleshooting. Most applications are easier than this, working by just providing the paths, variables and ports. To complete the installation, we can go back to the Whisper settings, enable advanced view, and enter the web UI and icon URL you can find in the description. Finally you can also enable the auto start making sure Whisper is always positioned under Mongo and Translate. Thanks for watching, and like and subscribe for more content.